I often see a kukul flying across the road or look for food on the ground. But how do you know whether it is the great kukul or the lesser kukul? In this video I give the answer. The greater kukul looks like something in between a large crow and a pheasant. That's why some people call them crow pheasants. But the greater kukul is neither. It is, in fact, a member of the cuckoo family. Bright red eyes and dark feathers give the greater kukul a fierce appearance. So it's no wonder this bird is often connected with omens. They are actually ground-dwelling terrestrial birds. They are clumsy and weak in the air and spend more time on the ground foraging for food than they do on the wing. The call is a series of deep, resonant oop 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 notes. The greater kukal is native to South Asia and found from the western portions of India to the southeastern corners of Indonesia. The lesser kukal is a dark, rather sturdy cuckoo of scrubby habitats, reed beds, forest edge and agricultural areas. Adults black with bright chestnut wings and fine silvery streaking on neck and shoulders. Immatures are greyish brown above, paler below with dull chestnut wings and a brown and black barred tail. Similar to greater kukal but significantly smaller with a dark instead of red eye and duller chestnut back and wings with silver streaks. Song is a distinctive series of sharp notes with the crescendo cadence of a bouncing ball. In summary, great kukal red eyes, no white stripes on the wings and an oop 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 call. The lesser kukal is much smaller, has black eyes and white stripes on the wings. The call is very different.